Have you ever wondered what happens when you flush? The wastewater is transferred from your home to a treatment facility where it is cleaned. But how exactly does it get there? There is a vast network beneath our feet designed to transport wastewater from homes in a community to a central location. When flushed, the wastewater follows a series of small sewage pipes, or branch lines, which allow the wastewater to flow into larger and larger pipes, called mains. The main line collects the wastewater and carries it to the wastewater treatment facility. The network of wastewater pipes is like a tree, with many small branches at the top, which lead to fewer and larger branches at the bottom, finally leading to the trunk, representing the main line. The water flows to the treatment facility primarily by gravity, but what happens if sewer lines have to travel a great distance, which would require the lines to be buried too deep? Lift stations help bridge the gap by lifting the wastewater to a higher elevation and allowing the flow by gravity to continue. If the treatment facility is at a higher elevation than the source of the wastewater, a lift station will pump the wastewater to that higher elevation. But a sewer system is not just pipes. Manholes allow for flows to change direction and for branch lines of different elevations to connect to the main. Manholes are also points of access important for utility operators to gain access to the sewer lines for inspection, maintenance, and repair. To learn more about collection systems and what you should and shouldn't flush, check out our animation, What Could Go Wrong With Your Sewer System?